Hello everyone, my name is Erwan Moisan and I'm the project coordinator of FERN360, a European program aiming at developing and delivering new knowledge on circular economy for the furniture and woodworking sector. Welcome to the first module, an introduction to circular economy. In this first module, we'll set the scene for the whole training and introduce you to the concept of circular economy, an economy in which the value of products, materials and resources is maintained for as long as possible and the generation of waste is minimized. We'll explain the reason why circular economy came to emerge in the last years as a solution to solve pressing challenges. We'll introduce you to the various definitions of the concept and we'll go through the fundamental principles that clearly define it. Circular economy thinking can bring several advantages at economic, business level, but also at societal level. We'll also highlight that there are currently several barriers hindering its development. Circular economy is not entirely a new concept in itself. It builds from different schools of thought that have emerged several decades ago. Cradle to cradle, biomimicry, industrial ecology. As an overarching framework, it provides a set of different strategies that pave the way towards more sustainable businesses and a thriving society. The first module is developed around five distinct units. Unit 1, limits of the linear economy. Unit 2, definitions and principles of circular economy. Unit 3, advantages and barriers of a circular economy. Unit 4, circular economy schools of thought. Unit 5, circular economy and sustainability. Unit 1 introduces the limits of our current economy in which we generally take, make and waste materials and products in a linear way. We'll explain why this approach is impacting our environment, generating unnecessary waste and pollution while creating business risks in the long term. Unit 2 introduces the circular economy framework starting with its definition and will explain the key principles that are needed to make our economy more circular. Unit 3 details the numerous advantages in starting to think circular. It also details the current barriers that will need to be overcome at policy level, business level and even consumer level to fully embrace this new economy. Unit 4 goes a bit further by introducing several concepts and ideas that have helped framing circular economy in the way we currently understand it. We'll talk about bio-inspired design, we'll look at how waste can be considered as food, as input to develop new products, and we'll see how maybe selling performance rather than products can be the best way to keep products in the loop. Finally, Unit 5 clarifies our circular economy and sustainability are connected. If both frameworks share a lot of similarities, they also have different origins, goals and means of intervention. The module is comprised of different slide decks, short videos, infographics and additional reading materials. It takes about 14 hours to complete this module. At the end of the module, you will be asked to take a short test in order to validate the learnings. But now, let's get started. Welcome to FERN 360.